Hi, we're here at the uh, City Winery with Simon Townsend, who's on tour, and uh, your new album is called what? Denial. Denial. Yeah. And that just came out April 1st, correct? Yeah. Great. Only a fool would do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> um, like I mentioned before, yeah, Twitter is effective. I, I uh, heard about it through the Who's Twitter post. I said, oh, oh boy, right. i got to come up here and, and check this out. So, uh, um, now, uh, I, uh, last year I interviewed Roger Daltrey for his health care, his, his uh, cancer uh, fund. Are you yeah. helping out with that? Team Cancer America. Yeah, I do a lot with that. Well, Great. I mean, it's not been going too long, but in, a, in the UK we have the Teenage Cancer Trust, which mm -hmm. has been going for a long, long time, and I've been working with Roger on that for you know, probably 10 years or so. Great. Raised a lot of money, opened up a lot of very important wards because UCLA was the one that we open, he opened, yeah. and that's what my story is about. Was the UCLA one? I think they're working on an East Coast version. Yeah, right? it's just a way of keeping teenagers away from like y y old folk and really young children because teenagers are such a unique age and they're going, going through through probably the hardest time of your youth before adulthood mm -hmm. um, and it's just uh, you know giving them their own space and treating them separately to kids if you like yeah they it's been around in the UK for many uh, yeah. decades and just more recently in the United yeah. States so it was and, a really and it's doing well you know yeah. we're, we're working hard on getting some some big names in to help give it a bit more uh, base value over here I mean it's tough it's tough getting people involved, but you know we keep trying. We're hoping Dave Grohl will get him. Okay, so I've got a question for you. So uh, there's a, a, a nice lyric. One of my favorite lyrics of a Pink Floyd, The Wall, is does anybody here remember Vera Lynn? Now that, you probably do. Didn't your parents? Uh, well, my mother was, was big on Vera Lynn. Um, she, uh, she was kind of, little, I think, a little jealous to a degree of, of the singers that made it, like Vera Lynn and Chloe Lane, because they were people that stuck at what they were doing and took it to the to the very successful heights. And my my mum always sort of saw herself as better than all that. She's I think my brother Pete gets his flamboyancy from my mum. You know, she was always the one on the tables, in the bars, dancing, and she was a she she was a bit of an animal, <laughs> a crazy lady. And but she did have a beautiful singing voice and part of what the, I think the talent that, that came through to the kids, myself included, um, came from her. But then my father was also an incredible musician as well. Right, jazz. Chad, jazz player. Uh, what act, one instrument, all of them? Or, uh, um, yeah, I mean, he, he played mainly reed. Uh -huh. you know? He could play a bit of everything, but he was a reed player. But, um, this was after the war, after 45, or when no, was this? It no, was, it, was, it was before and after. Uh -huh. Um, and during, you know, he was in the squadronaires, which were the, the, were a, a army army band. That's yep. how he avoided the front line, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I was thinking about that. Like you, you're more of a person of the '60s, I think. Uh, I was and, born and in the '60s. I, I know nothing about the, 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 the. I really sort of my brother Pete was was growing up in the '60s. I was born in 1960. What I was realizing was all of the legends, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Pete, The Who, the, you know, the role, they were all born right around 45, right after yeah, the war, yeah. when all that craziness was That's white. Right. And I think it is seen in rock and roll. I mean, it's just, yeah, I think so it was it's a baby boom, wasn't it, after yeah. the war? Yeah. Everyone getting back with their loved ones and getting cozy again and making babies, <laughs> making whoopee. Now, um, I enjoyed Endless Wire in 2006. You helped produce that, or uh, what was your role with that? Endless Wire, oh, remind me. I think I just played on that okay. and I, I sang. I did produce a couple of tracks for The Who called, uh, one was called Old Red Wine, and one <coughs> was called um, Real Good Looking Boy, which, um, you know, I was, I'm really proud of to this day. Funnily enough, I've just come off a, 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 <coughs> a, a session of work with Roger and they've been playing those songs right. very regularly. And um, it's just reminded me I've got some royalties to collect. <laughs> <laughs> and so you've been uh, uh, playing guitar and vocals for The Who for a long time, decades or 96? Um, I, jo I joined them since 96, yeah, for Quadrophenia when, it first, when the first incarnation. And, and so you've played these tiny little gigs like the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah, I played the Super Bowl. Well, I mimed the Super Bowl. I mean, I, th I think Pete was the only one that played live on that. Okay, um, and then the Olympics in 012? The Olympics, yeah, that was fantastic. That was in my hometown, it was yeah. in London, so for me that was a bit special. Um, 
I was in a bit gaga land that day. That was just incredible. They gave you the sink, the biggest billing, I think, the closing yeah. concert. I think a lot of people over here waited thinking it wasn't going to happen because it just dragged out with the speeches and everything. Mm -hmm. But we did finally get there and get on stage and it was a bit of an explosion, that one. Yeah. It was a great night. And um, and then you were also more recently on the 2013 Quadrophenia tour, right? Yeah, yep. playing the, the the bus driver, which which is mm -hmm. a role I sort of I, I sort of took over in '96. It was David Gilmore. As we had a lot of guests appearing in the original shows. What was nice about the last tour is we did it as a band. We, we, we took all the, we, we, the the two or three roles that you'd normally have guests. Pete took one. Roger took the other, and then we introduced a film of Keith Moon mm -hmm. playing the bellboy. John Whistle was involved on screen, and it kind of brought those two guys to life, back to life. And, um, and I think the fans thought, I think that was the highlight of the show, actually, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, and I, th I personally felt it was a far better show without all the, the glitz of, um, you know, we had Gary Glitter. No, nothing against any of the stars. You know, Billy Idol was great on the tour. He's a great guy. Um, but, you know, it's putting these people in into the Who for a show is kind of making it a little bit theatrical. Mm -hmm. and I think um, the last tour was just a good rock and roll show, what people were wanting. You're referring to the 96 tour and now yeah, the more recent Yeah, 97, 98. And I th yeah, I think that was about it. And then the more recent one didn't did not have the Billy Idol That's and right, so forth. That's yeah, right, yeah. We just kept it within a group. I saw the you. Group. I saw your uh, uh, Hurricane Sandy performance. Were you there for that yeah. at, at Madison Square yeah, Garden? I was, I think, yeah. yeah. And um, so, um, so let's get talk about you now. So you've got the new album. Uh, tell us about. Uh, tell us about it. Uh, what do you want to say? Well, it's a, it's an album I dedicate to addicts in recovery, not for any any other reason than than it, it, my family and my my family's struggles against addiction, and it goes back. We were talking about my mother. She was a bit of a case and and it's sort of as you probably well know uh, my other family members and 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 my daughter had some problems as well so it kind of and on my own mainly you know i think i i've always been struggling with my demons and i'm clean now and, and um that i love i love life and i love being clean and i love um the just standing by it and standing firm and, and you, you know you do slip occasionally that you can't be helped you ever work with eric clapton in his car no but it, but eric's the, eric's in the same boat mm -hmm. he's in the same boat you know um you've got to take one day at a time and keep yourself busy and occupied and believe in in that there is a better life sometimes you have moments where you get a bit down because you can't be involved in the partying that you you were used to getting involved in but you, you always come off worse for wear in the end if you if you live that sort of life and, I, and for me the greatest thing about being clean and being um, responsible for my own thoughts and my, and my actions was that I came up with a whole bunch of songs that really meant something to me and it, I, I found the songs wrote themselves on this album um, you know, Denial is obviously the title track Will you be but playing that tonight? A, yeah. Mm -hmm. All yeah. of it or just I'll be playing most of it mm -hmm. that's playable on, a, on an acoustic guitar without, a, without accompaniment. Okay. You know, it's not every song suits acoustic performances. Okay. But yeah, I, I, I play a lot of it. Um, my, my son, one of my sons, I say my son, one of my, my eldest son, he, he and his wife had tw uh, twins. She had them prematurely and they lost one. So one of the songs was about um, the... the, the that situation and how the, the girl that lived grace is the saving grace and then I have other songs which kind of stem off that subject matter actually but one one that particularly I love is called also real which is where I woke up in a dream looking at a radio and it was one of my idols singing a, a constant melody line and and I went off to the toilet and because I was able to get out of bed and I had the energy to get up which I wonder how many great songs are, are wasted in those moments, to be honest, where people just can't get up and motivate themselves to go and actually note it down, have a cup of tea and make some notes, which is kind of what I did. I think um, of things in the shower, but you can't write it down in the shower. No, but you've got to get straight to <laughs> it. But it's being in your sleep, it's a case of you really do have to drag yourself up. Where do you live now? Uh, London? Um, West US? London. Okay. Yeah, been there all my life. I live in the house I was born. Is that right? I believe, yeah. Huh. 
which yeah. I love. I love that, but one day Down I'm, the river. I'm gonna peel myself away. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't live by the river, uh, Pete does. Oh, that, I saw an interview with Pete in their uh, recording studios or something like yeah. that, we're on the river. Yeah, that's right, we did a lot of house. recording there. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, great. So, uh, what, what's your, your you mostly playing acoustic these days, or uh? I play acoustic, twelve string, mandolin on this tour. Um, I can play a bunch of instruments, but yeah, I, I love playing electric. Uh -huh. But in obviously in this sort of environment, it is, it's not necessary. Acoustic guitar is fine. Great. Um, anything else? Yeah, website www.simontownsend.com. That's Absolutely important great. to get in there. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure. You. Pleasure. Cheers.